Hey kids! <laughs> and welcome to VBS Missions. We're so excited to be here in Honduras. So we are super excited that this past spring in March, we, a group of about 10 of us from the church got to attend or go on a mission trip to Honduras. And we've been here for about five days now and we've gotten to see some pretty cool things and work on some really cool projects and we're gonna talk about a few of them. Um, and so we started, we're gonna start with, um, we're standing on the soccer field right now and our, the soccer field here looks very different than ones at home. They have a very basic metal structure and then really just a field. Um, and so this is where they play soccer in their community. Um, and behind the soccer field is the school. They have a two room schoolhouse that um, Fiona went and met the teachers. And Fiona is one of our youth that attends the church. So she's in ninth grade and she speaks fluent Spanish because her family is from Argentina. So she has been very helpful on our trip. And we got to go meet the teachers in the schoolhouse and tons of the kids. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, behind the school is the church. We can't really see it from here, but um, you'll see it in other parts of the video. And their church is really big and really beautiful, and they only have eight members. But they're growing, and we're excited to be a part of that as well. Um, and hopefully in the future, we will be able to come back here and do a VBS here in Honduras. These families. Um, and so we're here outside of the two-room school that teaches all of the children in the community of Caracol in two classrooms. Here we are at the school in Cocazol with the community of children that are gathered here. They attend school here in the community and their teachers come and join them on site. They have two rooms for their classroom and as you can see today they have taken their classroom outside because it's so much cooler here in the shade and the breeze and the open air. There are about 28 children who are gathered here today. They cover all of our elementary ages with two teachers in two classrooms. They wear a standard uniform in the school system and it's a public school system and it covers through kindergarten through sixth grade right here adjacent to the river that we'll see in a moment. There are a variety of home sites that are here that have been self-constructed. We've been constructing two homes to make better living conditions for a few of these families. For the last like three days, we've been working on a house here for a mom and her kids. And she has also taken in her nieces and nephews from two separate families. So there's currently three families living together in one house. Um, and so they're excited to be able to move into this separate structure and have their own space again. Their old house is behind us. Um, and so you can see that structure um, over there. During our time here at this house, we have gotten to play with numerous children, many, many, many of them, and Fiona's gonna introduce a few of them. Okay, so these are my friends. Madeline. Nancy. Nancy. Kevin. Yes. Jancy. Jancy. And behind is Fabricio. <laughs> Sophie. Doing something. Sophia. And Sophia. Can you guys say hola? Hola. 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 <laughs> During our time here, we've really gotten to spend time with the kids and bring them many gifts. Um, today, specifically, they got bags full of fidget spinners and little poppets and mini stuffed animals, which you can see them all playing with here. Can you hold it? Aki. And um, in the first day, we brought lots of books and coloring things, and Lynn got to sit with the kids and read them books and work on her Spanish because most of the books were in Spanish. Um, and so they just we've just gotten to enjoy spending time with them and bringing them little things that our kids in the United States like to play with. This is the structure where the family was previously living. They moved out of this structure so that our team could come in and build a new structure right here as simple as this structure is, you can tell the integrity of this new structure and how much more functional this will be for the family. This is the family's shower and restroom. And they have jumped right in to help us paint what will be their home. This is the mom, Jasmine, and a couple of her kids. Hello, we're here in Caracol. Um, we are here at this specific spot where we built this house. We got here, there were four posts in the ground. Um, we've 
cut the board, put the boards up on the house. We've had a great time doing this. It's been hard work, but we've felt your prayers with us the whole way. Um, Definitely, the strength that we felt from the prayers was such a help. Mary has been my concrete buddy here, and we've been <laughs> doing all the concrete around the, the post and on the outside here. And with Rixie's help, we just built them with the step on the front here today. That's still wet concrete, but um, it has been a joy to do this. And, and the joy that we're spreading here in this community, I think, is priceless. This is the backside of the down the hill house. As you can see, it is on a big incline. And so we've had a lot of ground to maneuver around, but they are putting a second coat on Rixie's house. Hi, Rixie. And her mother is helping paint what's going to be the door. group certainly worked hard all week, hammering and painting and jumping in with a spirit of teamwork to serve wherever needed. We definitely had a bit of fun together too. But the highlight of the week truly was connecting with the people of Caracol, specifically the families who would be receiving the two homes we built. As we neared the end of the week, we truly poured out the love of Jesus everywhere. We prayed over the homes and the families, and as we prepared to depart, we trusted the Holy Spirit to continue to work in a mighty way in the lives of these families and this community. This is the local community church. They currently have eight members here in this congregation. And we hope with a, a continued involvement with our congregation, helping to better the community, that this congregation might grow, that we might be able to have an impact for Christ and help them build this community of faith right here in Coca-Cola. Right behind the school is also the church. and. The church we got to meet some of their members this morning which was really sweet and we got to pray over them um, and we also have decided that we love art and the kids here love art we've gotten to see that in the last couple days and so one of our goals in coming back here would be to paint a mural on this wall that the whole town can see we think that would be really special and also give the kids a chance to be involved with it as well mm -hmm.